Hi and welcome to a few lessons on analytic geometry and uh, I'm going to start off with some introductory topics uh, and uh, the first one that I want to look at is the distance formula. Now before I get there, analytical geometry has to do with geometry which is uh, um, distance and and things like that. So for example, geo refers to earth. It's a Latin or Greek word meaning earth and then metri uh, means measurement so it's earth measurements so typically things that we can measure in three-dimensional space which um, or up to three-dimensional space which involves uh, distance uh, volume um, area things like that now analytic geometry is when we do this on the Cartesian plane which means we are going to primarily at least for this course stay in two dimensions and uh, and in the Cartesian plane we have a y measurement a vertical measurement and a horizontal measurement called x and we're going to spray express everything in terms of x and y so for example the distance formula represents the distance between two points so if I were to take any two points here, let's take this point here and that point there. If I wanted to find the distance between these two points, I will use its x and y coordinates to find that distance. How will I do that? Well, I will see that this is, let's say, x1 and this is x2. This one is y1, just in relationship with that one. And this one is y2 okay so if I wanted to find this distance here okay wait let's do this uh, do a different color if I wanted to find the distance between these two points notice what we have we have a right angled triangle and what we're trying to find is the a hypotenuse of that triangle so in other words we want to find this distance let's call it D in order to find it, I'm going to need in this triangle to use Pythagoras. I would, I'm going to say let's take d squared, that's Pythagoras' theorem, which um, says that the sum of the squares of the sides. So I need this sides, so let's call this just a and then this one b, just for now. We'll say that's a squared plus b squared. Now what is the length of a? Notice that the length of A is the same as this length here. Now what is this length? Well, let's say that was 10 and that was 2. This length would be 8 from 2 to 10. Now we can get the, the distance between two vertical or horizontal points by just subtracting their values. Eight, 10 minus 2 gives me 8. So in other words, the length of A would be Y1 minus Y2 okay, squared. The length of B then, this is B, the length of B then will be similarly x2 minus x1, okay, plus x2 minus x1. Okay, now you might encounter a slight difficulty because you might now ask, well, when will it be y1 minus y2 or y2 minus y1? And I just want to tell you that it doesn't matter which one you subtract from which because if we said 2 minus 10, we would have gotten negative 8. Okay, so it doesn't matter because we are squaring. The squaring will get rid of the negative anyway. So don't, don't worry, I'm actually just going to write it as y2 or let's start with writing this term first x2 minus x1 squared plus and I'm just going to write it as y2 minus y1 because the square is going to deal with the fact that it's been turned around anyway so in the end this is my distance formula the distance between these two points I can use this formula as the distance between those two points uh, when it's squared or I can just take the square root on both sides now when we do take the square root we have to remember to put a plus minus okay whenever we solve an equation plus minus but 
In this case, negative distance has no meaning. We're working out the distance between two points. Negative distance is meaningless, so it's not necessary for the plus minus um, in, in this formula. So x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And this is the distance formula. Let's just apply it quickly. Let's say we had two points. I'm honestly just thinking up any two random points. Let's say 7 comma 1 and let's say 3 point negative 2. Let's see what would be the distance between these two points. Well this is going to be my x1, y1, my x2, y2. The distance is therefore the square root of these two. 7 minus 1 uh, sorry, not 7 minus 1, uh, 3 minus 7, or 7 minus 3, it doesn't matter. Just the difference between these two is 4, 4 squared. Okay, but let me write it out for your sake. I'll say 7 minus 1 squared, uh, sorry, minus 3, 7 minus 3 squared plus, and then the other one, um, my suggestion is if you do start with the x1 then start with the y1 in this case it doesn't make a difference but later on that order does become important so let's just do it from the beginning in that way anyways so let's take 1 minus but yes be careful 1 minus minus 2 so that becomes plus 2 okay so in the end here we get and this is quite coincidental, it works out nicely actually. Uh, this is 7 minus 3, that's 44, and that squared is 16, uh, plus 1 plus 2 is 9, okay? So this would equal the square root of 25, which is 5, and this was quite coincidence. Usually it's not a nice square root, it's usually a third. Nevertheless, there we go. That is the distance between these two points. I didn't even need a sketch. It will usually be given names and they will ask you for the distance and you can just put A and B, things like that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you to see where this formula comes from. It's a very useful formula, very easy marks if you find it in a question paper. So good luck and have fun using it.